Hello friends, just a quick video on the MetaQuest 3 VR. Right, so when you're running this VR, the best software I've found so far with the new MetaQuest 3 is to run it uh, via the virtual desktop streamer software. Now you can purchase this on the MetaQuest store on your headset and it will cost you about £18 or so UK money. Now with this, you then download the streamer app, which goes directly onto your desktop. And what you need to do, first of all, first things first, with Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is what I um, I fly in VR quite often now, and this, this software we use, the virtual desktop software, it is good, but it does have a few bugs, and it's more probably on the side of the simulator rather than the virtual desktop, because the virtual desktop works you know, no, no problems at all with other software like YouTube and streaming to, you know, like um, big screen rooms and stuff like that. So it, it is primarily the simulator and NVIDIA itself with their graphics cards and their drivers. Now, NVIDIA do update their, their graphics drivers every couple of weeks. So things are going to change. And, and what I've found over the last sort of two, three weeks, the, um, the virtual desktop streamer is currently crashing. In the simulator, so you'd be flying absolutely fine for about an hour or so, and then suddenly you land at an airport, and then it will just go into overload, and you just you, your VR headset will just freeze, and you look around, and all you see is a black, black, empty space, and it's basically stopped communicating with the simulator via virtual desktop streamer. Because I looked in the task process of that, and it's just basically it's lost its priority, and there's no way out of it. So you you have to close the um, the flight simulator down fully because you can't switch back from VR to normal desktop. Um, so it is, unfortunately, it is a task manager shut down and a, re a reboot. Once you reboot all the software, go back into it again, and it will hopefully set up and start running again perfectly fine for the next hour or so. Uh, so don't plan any long flights, like three, four-hour flights with this, because it will, unfortunately, crash. Um, but it is good fun. It still works. One thing, so first success, what you have to do is go into NVIDIA GeForce Experience, and you have to disable the in-game overlay, all right? Because that runs in the background and it doesn't talk to virtual desktop streamer and it will cause issues, especially when you time check screenshots and things like that. So once you've disabled that, I'm not going to disable mine at the minute because I'm currently recording via the NVIDIA driver. Um, and you can see there I've got the um, the latest drivers installed, so I, I won't roll back to the uh, version 552.44, which is recommended by the virtual desktop crew. Um, they want you to roll back to that, but however, it's, it's you know, April is when that was updated, and that's a long time ago, especially with the new SimUp 15s and stuff in the flight simulator. You, you need the latest drivers, unfortunately, with this, um, you know, Microsoft's optimized to work with NVIDIA and the latest optimizations. Uh, hopefully soon, the desktop, um, virtual desktop stream will match this a little bit closer to sort of like the latest graphics drivers this year. Um, but that's hopefully coming at some point. So I wouldn't recommend, uh, you know, rolling back to an old, old driver because you're not going to get the functionality with it. You know, yes, the VR might work, but then your graphic settings and stuff might not work well. The NVIDIA GeForce won't work well with it. So, yeah, I wouldn't recommend that personally. But so what you go ahead and do is you download the streamer app. So you've got it on your, on your, on your Oculus. Um, I would always launch the virtual desktop streamer first. Uh, so double click on that. And then you'll see, it'll say that, it'll, we'll say here I've got NVIDIA in-game overlay running because I have got it running, so I'm just going to ignore that for the time being. But these are my settings that I've currently got that work with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, I'm running the preferred codec, which is the Quest 3, the AV110 bit, with adaptive uh, quantization on there as well. Uh, run Open XTAR runtime, run it in VDXR. Don't have it on automatic because it'll run... It'll just keep trying to switch between them both if you have Steam installed. So VDXR on that setting, gamepad emulation set to automatic. Uh, audio streaming, it's completely up to yourself. I do a little bit of streaming recording with the VR headset, so I use the virtual audio driver. Um, I do have some Logitech Pro headset, which you do unfortunately have to disconnect if you're using the virtual audio driver, or else your microphone on your Oculus, your Meta 3, won't pick up, um, so you're always better using the one or the other. You can't use them both at the same time because Windows just will not recognize it and go, oh my God, we've got a problem. Um, so allow remote corrections, and then what I'm going to do is um, we're going to go into bindings, and that's just set to defaults on there, okay? Um, and then 
obviously you've got your meta username, uh, which by there is Captain Card. You must import that into there because that's how it communicates with the app itself on your MetaQuest 3. All right, and all you do to change that is press change and it'll come up and ask you to input that information. And so that's my settings on there. And if you go into the Meta Quest settings on your load page, you'll see, and, and everything on there for me is basically set to default. There's nothing special because um, these guys at the, you know, the, the virtual desktop have worked out the best sort of streaming settings for high-end games and stuff like that, you know, the truck simulator and, and bus simulator, all that lot. So they, they know what they're doing. And that's, the you know, the, the older stuff, the OpenXR stuff's been set up for you already. So I would just recommend just leaving it as default. The only thing I would say is that go off the screen here on your desktop is press boost game priority. You can play with this. Sometimes people say they get a lot more stutters uh, with this boost game priority on here. But I find I've got quite a good, powerful system. So it doesn't really bother it with me. I don't get any sort of like black screen lagging or anything like that. It just kind of works for me. And also make sure as well on your VR settings with your uh, flight simulator, start off in default settings. Don't don't run VR at high or ultra because your headset cannot hack it, basically. You're right. It's, it's not... The headset's great. MetaQuest 3 is fantastic, but it, unfortunately, it's not powerful enough to run Microsoft Flight Simulator at the Ultra settings. It's it's all down to the, the chip technology inside the headset with your graphics card. It's just not optimized for, you know, this sort of gaming reality. It is good, but it's not perfect. Uh, so don't expect fantastic flying, like 4K vision, you know. it's um, So, yeah, that's my settings there. And uh, any other settings you want to know, let me know in the comments and I will uh, hopefully get back to you. I'm pretty active on YouTube, so we'll, uh, we'll get that sorted. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.